Today on Everyday Tactical Vids, we'll be looking at the SOG Basecamp X. Hey everybody, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and as always, thanks for checking out our videos. As you've already seen, we're looking at the SOG Basecamp X. Your price range is going to be in the $50 range. Your blade steel type is 1055C. Your Rockwell hardness is 50 to 55. It's 16 inches overall and it weighs 33 ounces. Let's talk about some of the features on the X. From your blade edge, it's actually going to get thicker to about here and then thin out back to your pommel. The pommel is usable as a hammer or a breaking tool. Ergonomic design on the handle here, very comfortable grip having used this quite a bit. I will note how comfortable this is. It does say SOG all over the grip and I'll show you that in a moment. And then a nice sized lanyard hole here at the end. Here's a look at that handle and you can see SOG written all over it. Looking at the head of the axe here you can see as I mentioned thinner and then widens out toward the middle. At the widest portion here it's about half an inch across and so I'm going to put this probably in the category of something like the S-Wing that I reviewed which is going to be very effective as a chopping axe and it can split some smaller logs but if you're looking for something to split larger logs around the campfire at night this axe is going to have a little bit of trouble with that just because it's not very wide at the main section. You want an axe that is thin and gets wide much more quickly if you're looking for something that's going to be used mostly for splitting wood. Alright, let's check out the axe in action. So here's the log we just cut through, and compared to the size of the head of the axe, talking about probably three to three and a half inches across. Here's a look at the results of our splitting test, and as I suspected, um, it's good for splitting. It's not fantastic. I would put it kind of in the middle of the pack compared to some other camp axes that I've used, and that, um, as I mentioned before, is going to be due to that thinner profile on the head of the axe. It's definitely going to be better for you know, chopping into say a tree or a log or something like that as opposed to splitting just because that head uh, doesn't widen out as quickly as some of the other axes out there on the market do. We'll make a couple of quick tent stakes now and then test out the pommel on the axe. Here's a look at four different size stakes and we'll drive them into the ground using the pommel. Here's a look at the sheet that's included with the axe. Very nicely made. It's molded nylon. You do have a belt clip here. Grommet holes all the way around so you can attach it to a pack or something else. To take out the axe, you're going to slide this back section up and then move the sheath forward like this and to put it back in. The best idea i found is that you've actually pushed this all the way to the top like so and then slide it back and then clip this down. Here's a look at the sheath attached to my belt and to remove the axe you're going to flip up this little back trap door and then you can slide the axe out like so and to put it back in just reverse the process. I have been walking around a bit with the axe on my belt like this and I've noticed that that little trap door on the back does open as you can see not completely but not, with not a lot of movement it'll start to pop open so a simple modification for SOG would be to just put bigger knobs there and uh, as far as if you're the user and you're actually carrying this around 
you could just run a little paracord through there and then just basically tie this off so that there's pressure pushing back on this trap door, keeping it closed a little bit more effectively. Let's wrap up our review now of the SOG Basecamp Axe. The first thing I'll tell you is that I have done some more research since starting this review, and I have found that you can get this online for between 40 up to $42, $43, and all the way up to $65, give or take. So it's quite a range for the actual price of this item. If you are gonna buy it, make sure you do your research first. The other thing I'll mention is that it was quite efficient at cutting. I will remind you it comes in at 33 ounces, so that may be a little bit more than your average camp axe, but for me it didn't feel overbearing or really heavy when I was carrying it. And that extra heft and the size of the blade, the shape of the blade, just made it a very efficient cutting tool. One of the downsides to this is not even the axe or the sheath, but in particular it's the locking mechanism to the sheath. When I open it up, you can see there's a very small little peg there, and there's another one inside. And then if you actually look at this section, the kind of door that closes on the sheath, you can see a hole right there, and then there's another little divot inside. When the sheath closes, those are supposed to lock into place. And they do click, and they do seem to lock slightly, but it doesn't take a lot of effort to just pop that open. I did find that when the axe is in the sheath and this is hanging on my belt, even if this pops open, it's not like the axe all of a sudden comes tumbling out. But I would like to see in the future, even just something as simple as make these two pegs a little bit bigger, and then I think the axe would have better retention and uh, this door would not be opening and closing as easily. Overall, the SOG Base Camp Axe is getting a thumbs up from Everyday Tactical Vids. I like its cutting power, I like the size, the shape, the overall feel, and then even in general the look of the axe. The one main downside I've experienced so far is that little trap door on the sheath, and with a slight modification, I think that could be fixed. Your price point is gonna be a little bit higher than your average camp axe out there, but I was impressed enough with this that I'd be willing to spend the money to get this axe. If you're interested in purchasing this axe, check out the description below. There's a link and you can find it on Amazon for a very reasonable price. Thanks as always for checking out our videos. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids here on YouTube if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Tumblr, and now we're on Instagram as well. Take care.